Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to shave our apocalyptic mustaches. Just kidding. Uh, I'm not going to do that today, but we are going to learn how to use photopia.com to create a quick GIF animation or GIF animation, whatever you want to do. We're going to select five images and animate them inside of our editor and let's get to work. So here you can see we have a uh, uh, photopia.com. We're going to go to new project and you have all of your templates right here. We're just going to create a standard square Instagram post. Uh, we're not going to use a template. We're just going to say create. Here's it's 1080 by 1080. You could raise up the height to match more of a portrait mode on Instagram, but I'm just going to use the default for what we're trying to do here. I'm going to hit create. And here you go. We have our template. Now let's go over here. We need to add in some photos. Okay. So I'm going to navigate over to our photo, open and place. And let's go find some photos. As you can see, we've already been working with some pictures, photos, videos. We're going to use a picture, some pictures of my daughter for project I'm working on and we'll upload at some points. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five photos. We're going to hit open, and they should all come up in here into our layer window, all layered up. And what we'll need to do is select which images we want to be displayed first. And it will be displayed from the bottom layer up. So our first layer is going to be the background. Our next layer is going to be Leah standing with a pillow. And these are already numbered, so that's kind of nice. So if I one, two, three, the, her superwoman pose, this one, we want to be at the very end. So we need to put that at the very top layer because we're working from the bottom up. One, two, three, four, five. So how do we turn this into an animation using still frames? Well, inside of Photopea, you have to basically type a little code in here and you double click on the layer and you're gonna type in underscore A for animation and then underscore again. This tells the software that when you export it as a as an image that it's going to animate it from the bottom up. And then our next pose is going to be Leah Pillow Fight 2. You double click, go to the first layer, and you just or the first part of the layer name, underscore A. And you're going to do that with each one of these. Okay. So let's just do that real quick. After you do this a few times, it becomes pretty easy to remember the process and the workflow. I highly recommend just grabbing any any image and doing this. You can just use one image and then animate that one image if you wanted to by, that's the power of using a, a graphic editor like this. You could delete parts of uh, the picture and have them pop up to complete a picture, you know, kind of like animate it, kind of like stop motion. But here we actually have separate frames we can we can use. So we have one picture, two picture, three picture, four picture, and it's going to work from the bottom up. We go come up here to file export as here's our GIF right here. I'm just going to set say okay. It's talking about the um, scale of the image. I'm just going to say okay, and you can see what's happening right now. So if you can see that the preview, it's happening really fast. And it's just going to repeat forever. Right here it says repeat forever. You can actually set this for how many times you want it to repeat. Five times, ten times. You can reverse the frames by clicking this and it's going backwards now. But we want it to, we want her to stand there and then throw a pillow. But we want to slow this down. So how do we, how do we slow this down? You basically just go back into your layers and put a little code at the end. So I'm just double click on it for the name, get to the end of the end of the file name, and you're going to hit comma. And then you're going to type out in milliseconds how long you want it to be. OK, I want this first frame. She needs to pose for a while. So 1000 milliframes is one second. OK, so the next one. Let's just make it go for a half a second. So we're going to comma and what would be half of 1000? 500. Okay. Sure. Again, once you do this a few times, it becomes pretty pretty easy to, to quickly manipulate it. 500. 
And we just go to the end of this layer and type in, what do we say, half a second, comma, 500. And then our very last one, which is our superhero pose. Uh, if you've noticed these images, these obviously take a lot of time to prepare. This was a whole separate little photo shoot that we did. And then I had to cut out the background layers on all of them. I'm using them for a whole other project, but they're perfect for creating a quick little animation on here. So now let's go up to File, Export As, and we'll go to our GIF and see what we get. So there we go. She's standing there holding her pillow, and then she throws it at her, her unsuspecting enemy. Hits him in the face, knocks him over, and then she stands there all cool. We need to, I say we need to make her pose for a lot longer so she can like brag a little bit. So we're gonna come back up to her pose layer, double click on it and go to the end. So instead of saying 500 milliseconds, we will say, I'd say, let's say 2000. And how long is that? Let's do some math here. That is two seconds. So now if we check it out, she will be standing there posing for almost two seconds. Look at that. one, two, throw, 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 one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Let's make her throw this a little bit faster. I'm still not exactly happy with it. She's going to pose for one second, but then the actual throwing, let's make it quicker. So instead of 500, let's just say 300. We'll do that for each one of these layers. You know, making a change like this is, does not take long. I'm just saying enter, you just double click on the layer and change the time inside of 300. That took me 20 seconds to do all three. Come up here, file, export as. And guys, you know, I've done this a few times now, so I'm getting the hang of it. It just takes practice, just like anything else, you know. Just put a little time in on it and you're going to be animating these as, as much as you want. And, and it's, what, what I'll mention it one more time. What's cool about the online editor uh, using an actual graphic application like Photoshop or Photopea, you can manipulate these images as much as you want, which makes it fun. I know there's a lot of downloadable apps on your phone that create GIFs for you like instantly, but you just don't have the edit capabilities like you have in something like this. So this is pretty cool. I'm going to hit save and it's going to download. I'm just going to open it up and see what it looks like. There you go. There's your image. Leah's standing there with her pillow, and she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna hit you." She's talking to her brother, right here in this in this instance, and she's gonna hit him with a pillow, and she throws it and then stands there. Super tough, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. So now you have a gift. You can upload it to things, use it for whatever. Um, have some fun with it. Practice, figure it out. Test, test, test. And this is that web-based software, Photopia.com. Enjoy. It's a fun lesson. And if you have any questions, please holler. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. Now, real quickly, I need to figure out how to hit stop on this thing. Let's come over here. Go to our recording software, which we're using screen castify. What is it called? Yeah, screencastify. So go to screencastify.com. It's totally free. You are limited to five minutes, uh, a segment, but I always go over that. And I just, I just hit stop, start a new segment, go again, start a new segment. Then I take them into a video editor and stitch them together. And you have a 10 minute video, 15 minute video, uh, whatever you need. This one turned out to be around nine minutes, which I'm sorry for that, but hopefully you uh, learned something and have some fun editing these images and animating them. Okay. Later guys. Have fun. Okay. Sorry. I'm back. Bonus time. I. Did that previous uh, tutorial, but I want to quickly show you something you can do if you just have one image. Most everyone just takes one image and you can manipulate it, animate it, do a stop, stop motion animation. Let's take advantage of the graphic editor that we have right here. So here's a quick picture of Leah. Uh, it's just one layer. I have a background layer and then Leah right here. Okay. So we're going to just make her, I'm looking at this picture and I'm like, oh, what can we do with this? And she's looking up, so let's just make her blast off into outer space. So how would we do that? Well, first we need to set up our animation. Remember how we how we did that? We're gonna animate this, so we double click, 
And inside of the layer, remember we type underscore A, underscore, and hit enter. So that's our first layer. And then from here, we want to have her blasting off. So most things you can do with any layers or commands, you can just simply right click. And this is universal across so many programs, okay? Right click and just say duplicate, duplicate layer. Okay, there's a second layer now. So if we turn off our previous layer, we're working on this layer, our new layer. Let's just add some fire shooting out of her, her feet. And the brush tool is over here and it's shortcut command B. And we're just gonna, you have to do the sound effects too. Okay, so now we have fire shooting out from under her. All right, and let's right click on that layer, hit duplicate layer. Now we have the next layer. Hide that, and we need to make her blasting off, so we just grab her and we move her up a little bit. Okay, don't forget to add more fire below her. Okay, right click, duplicate layer. Perfect. Okay, don't forget to add more fire below. Okay, and right click, duplicate layer, and hide the one below it. If you don't hide the one below, you, you can see what happens when you move her up a little bit. Whoop. You can just see there's the layer below. It just helps you see what's happening. Let's take off that one. Let's add just a little bit more fire. Okay, that seems like enough fire. Now we can just duplicate and move, okay? Duplicate layer, move her up a little more. And we don't want too many layers, but let's just do a few more. and. Get her out into orbit. And plus, we need to finish this before the five minute time limit's up. And let's just do one more and send her completely out into space. Whee! Okay, if I go to file, export as, GIF, let's take a quick look. See what it looks like. She should be blasting off into our space. Hey, look at that. I like it. Let's hit save, preview it just by clicking on the file. And here's our actual video. A little animation. See, so she's just blasting off. I just simply did that using the graphic elements that are inside and the tools that are inside this Photoshop uh, wannabe program called Photopea. Uh, we quickly did that. Like I said, the more times you use this, the more times you get the hang of it. If you wanted to show her blasting off uh, still into perspective, you could shrink her a little bit on each on each frame and it would look like she's taking off away from you like blasting off and then you could also put in a horizon put in a mountain you can put the moon way back here in the background and have her landing on it you know have have, have some fun with it this is also a very basic intro into just simple animation video animation but just doing six frames you know uh seven frames hey guys thanks again for listening i'm sure my time's almost up uh, I wanted to show you how to do this quickly with just using one image rather than having those uh, a series of images to make an animation. This is another fun way to make an animation. All right. Have an awesome day, guys. Talk to you later. And hit stop sharing.